Hey guys, welcome to Naruto Fan FB. Today we're talking about the Legend of Korra. Yeah, it's think it's been a while since yeah last in... season, and it's been a while since it started. So we just haven't really had time. And John hadn't watched any of them because every still don't think he's watched any. I don't of them. think he has either. But Whatever, me and Reed loss. had been like, "Say hey, watch it, so we could review it," because it's like this is I. I'm enjoying it so far. You're enjoying it. I yeah. think it's okay. Nothing's really wowing me like they did like it did last season, but uh, I think it's get it's gonna have some hope. I think there's like hope for like awesomeness in the future. I don't think the animation's as good this season as it was last season. It seems like it's a little lazier mm -hmm. on some of the scenes. Like the fight scenes are still pretty awesome, and there's definitely you know the backgrounds are sweet. Mm -hmm. They're all hand painted. Freaking love that about the show. But. I don't know, like some of just the, the talking scenes, it feels like they just kind of handed it off to you Someone know, an else. animation house and it was like, here, go nuts. It's Guess a little darker. Uh, like I thought maybe it's just because they're in like the South. Actually, yeah, a little bit. Like, the, like I'm not saying it's like the content's darker, but like oh. the actual like drawing and the color scheme is a little darker. Oh, you think so? Yeah. I mean, it might have just been because it's like I said, like it's uh, it's in the Southern, well, mo most of the stars in the Southern Water Tribe, so it's a lot of blue, dark blues and grays, as opposed to, like, the more earthy tones of Republic City. I can see that. Yeah, that's what I'm, at least that's what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. Like, I mean, there's, there's still some interesting things. I also think it's, it's less humoristic than, like, last season, and even less so than Avatar The Last Airbender. Like, yeah, it's missing kind of some of, like, the happy, fun stuff i don't know like every episode definitely has some bolin some so so relief. bolin exactly that's like, exactly him what... and uh what the crap's his name the the businessman varick varick yeah varick is probably my favorite part he's of the pretty show. good he's pretty good he's so great like uh, actually i was i was gonna mention specifically like in the most recent episode about him but we can get to that in time um I, I I was I was more talking about like this the the uh the pro bending stuff. I found like that was like my most enjoyable part. Um, it was kind of like this like interesting side thing that I was like oh like l l like bending's still really important and but like this is how the world this modern world views bending and it but now that like I feel like they've gone to like the south it feels like the bending is more like spiritual rather than like. Yeah, and I think that's. I think that's a, still part of the culture. I think it's, and I think that's a story choice, and I think that's kind of just some a different way to show that like bending isn't just like a thing, like a like a talent thing that like it seems to become, but it also has a connection to that spirit world that which this season is gonna be about. Yeah, season one with the pro bending, I actually thought that was a good way to show kind of how bending was this weird like outside spectacle and yeah. not. Really prevalent, like, in, yeah, the, in not, Avatar not that integrated into life. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah, it seemed like, like, last season really brought out, like, the world is changing, the world's becoming more modern, benders are, like, kind of, like, out of the forefront and into, like, the side thing. Like, it's, it, like, the world belonged more to the, to the normies than... Yeah. Uh, so, in this season, mm -hmm. there's a little bit less of an emphasis on... You know, the, the anti-bending revolution. Yeah. Well, I, I, I haven't like really people... heard anything about the anti-bending thing at all. Yeah, exactly. It kind of seems like people realized they were being hoodwinked mm -hmm. and maybe backed off a little bit. Yeah. Whether or not that's true, that's just kind of how it seems by the fact that it's not been brought up. Well, so like, let's let's start going through what we thought of like the first... Well, I, the way I want to maybe break this up and you can agree with me or disagree with me is that I want to do kind of like the first spirit, like the first two-parter, then do the Civil Wars one, and then we'll do the most recent one, Peacekeepers. Like, that's yeah, how we'll discuss them. Cool. So let, let's talk about uh, the first arc, which is, I guess, Spirit... I don't know yeah, what the, they're called, but... the first double ep. Yeah, the first double episode, uh, the premiere. So I thought it was really cool, because it was like, oh... Like, it starts off with that boat, and then you see this giant, like, demon oh, demon yeah. squid. And I was like, that is so cool. And not only was he, like, attacking the ship, but he was, like... It was, like, fast, and, like, it was, like, whipping people and, like, sinking them into the water. I'm like, damn, like, that's pretty adult for, for Nickelodeon. Like, people died. Like, <laughs> Yeah, no, it, like, it wastes yeah. no time. Yeah, it wastes no time. And it shows, like, oh, my God, this this is a problem. Like, um, like like the previous one was, like, oh, like, the Avatar is still in slower and airbending. It's, like, a more of a slower build, and then Amon becomes a problem. But it was just, like, no, issue now. You've already got your characters. You've already mm -hmm. had kind of your intro arc in the first yeah. season. Now you just 
Go for it. Yeah, I like that. So Korra goes down to the South Pole, taking Mako with her. And Bolin. Bolin. Uh, Asami and Bolin, I thought, were going to meet Varric, right? Like, they were just going to meet oh. for, like, kind of a side thing. Yeah, maybe. I yeah, so so we have, like, two separate things. One thing, actually, do you want to mention? Asami's kind of, like, not really in most, like, the last couple episodes, like, the last five episodes. She kind of seems like such a side thing when she was so important the first season. Well, we, we might get back to that. She was important in the first season as kind of a love interest, as yeah. a love triangle, as, you know... For Mako, Korra, and her, yeah. Right. Also as the daughter of one of kind of the, the side villains. Yeah. You know, the, the corporation boss. Mm-hmm. But she seems like she's like she was like part of Team Korra, you know? Yeah. And it seems like kind of like she's off. It seems more like Korra is taking a huge... Like, it seems like almost like the main show is now Korra Bolin. And like Mako's doing his thing and being a cop. And then Sami's doing her thing trying to sell things to Varric. And it seems like kind of like Bolin stealing the show a little bit in court. I don't know if that's the way you're feeling. I, that's just how I'm feeling. I don't know that Bolin's necessarily stealing the show, but I agree that he's getting a lot more screen, screen time. time. Yeah. And it's kind of because of what you were saying before. Like, he's really the, the comic relief. Yeah. In order to keep the show light at all, it's basically leaning on Bolin. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm fine with that. So, uh, so the first thing starts off, so she goes down to the south, and then her uncle shows up, who, who, the minute we meet him, he's, like, the creepiest he seems guy. seems like this just shifty motherfucker. Shifty, shifty, shifty dude, and it's like, his dad, his brother doesn't like him, you know there's something up, but you're not sure, and it's like, he's like, and then Cora's like, no, he's my uncle, he's whatever, his, his kids are weird, but he's not bad, whatever, it's just kind of like, uh. Like, why would I question his motives? Yeah. For <laughs> one moment. <laughs> just what? shows up. And it's like, all of a sudden these demons appear. And at first he's like, you know, you need to connect with your spiritual side, which is a legitimate thing, because the Avatar is the bridge between the spiritual world and the mo- and the and the real world. Right, and the way it's presented, like the Northern Water Tribe is really the only... Spiritual place left. And I, and I, and I thought that was kind of interesting, too, because it's like... Yeah, like watching a bunch of Southerners just get rocked by this spirit. Yeah. And her uncle being the only one who can do yeah. anything... Like, yeah, I, I guess I can see why she listens to that. Yeah, no, I could, I absolutely, like, because it's like, you know, like, all these things, and you meet, you see all these interesting story things that have progressed since Aang leaving, like, the Everstorm thing. The Everstorm was so cool, I was like, what? Like, like, well, how does that happen? And it's like, because you don't really, because, like, in the, in the first show, in Avatar Last Everybody, you didn't really see the South Pole that much. You were like, okay, we're here, and now we need to leave. Yeah, some of that stuff is just kind of dropped, and you're left to... Yeah, you know, just kind of take it as a thing. Yeah, as a thing. And you know, the, like the, the spirit owl in the library. Yeah, that, see, that's one of my favorite episodes. Yeah, you, you see it for, what, two episodes? Mm-hmm. And then you're out of the library and it's gone, and it's just, oh, it's a spirit owl, okay. And the face stealer, too. Like, that's, that was insane. Like, some of these, like, they, like, in the first series, like, they just kept the demon, or, like, spirit things kind of, like, off to the peripheral. But there was, like, still a lot. Yeah, like, they're in the world, and it's they're just kind of world. accepted. Exactly. And now they're, like, and, and that was one of the things I was, like, I'm, like, in the first season, because there was nothing about the spirit world. And now, like, we're starting to get to that, and I'm really glad that it's, like, kind of, like, the other side of the Avatar even more so. Yeah. No, we're, we're talking in, like, season one mm-hmm. about the emphasis being on, you know, Benders as kind of a periphery in the modern and the, and the world. world having changed. Yeah, season two, the world definitely has still changed, and now instead of focusing on how bending has, you know, become weird, mm-hmm. the spirit imbalance has become weird. And yeah, and kind of focus on that, the implications of that, and that's that's kind of neat. Yeah. So, Cor goes to the South Pole. Yep. She unlocks the portal in the South Pole, and things are okay. Something has been change spiritually mm-hmm. yeah spiritually oh and but then before we really get into implications of that with the spirits mm-hmm. all of a sudden a bunch of motherfuckers in big boats from the north show up what and say you belong to me now what is this kind of like when the fire nation attacks <laughs> <laughs> no 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 we're helping you yeah. we're not subjugating you yeah. We're teaching you spirituality. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> with our water bending. With our water bending powers. <laughs> Ice to the face. Um, with, with this giant army. Yeah, we were, uh, that was one of the things I was like, I couldn't help but see the, like, similarities where it's like, it wasn't even like, the ships were the same, too. It was like iron ships, and I know that was kind of like how it is now, but it's like, it was so kind iron of... Iron ships, yeah. reaching the ice walls, yeah. forming ice walls. Yeah. And I was like, wow! Like, they're really not, going for some similarities not here. Not subtle. Not subtle at all. Um... But I did want to mention, because I, I think we forgot, but uh, 
the you find out that uh, Cora's father was banished from the north. Yeah, I think that came in three and four. Oh, it came in three and four. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no 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 no. Or was it no? Two? You're right. One and two was mm-hmm. where he she finds out, but then banished. yeah, we're gonna and get then... to that. <laughs> but yeah, Cora's dad gets banished from the north for violating the spiritual balance of that forest. Right. Which was also kind of interesting, and it was like, oh, all right, it's a side thing. It's like, oh, that people have histories. So that's cool. Um, and then causes some tension between her and her dad because she felt that that he, he had been hiding hiding yeah. her in the South Pole. Like, like that was and like, hiding his story his, from her. Yeah. So like, he felt like everyone was like lying to her, and like that. Was, I thought that was really cool because it was like like she had been brought up to know like, oh well, I was Ang Ang was the one that decided to keep me here. Because, so, like, he didn't want to have to go... Th- like, didn't want me to go through the struggles of what the last... Like, he had to go through. Yeah. And I was like... And then you find out. It's like, maybe that's not exactly what went down. And you also learn that Aang was not the best dad. But I feel like that that comes later. Well... But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. We'll, well get there. There's just so many things. Um, yeah. So, anything else in 1-2 before we move on? Meaning Varric was cool. Varric was definitely my. Varric you weren't is, expecting it, and Varric by far is probably the funniest. Like he's thing. hilarious. I love yeah. watching him. He's such a sleaze. Yeah, he's yeah, great. He is, he is. And, I'm, and I'm glad that he's like such a important, not important, but he's such like a character that's involved. Yeah, like he's not like a one off character. So much spotlight. Yeah, like I'm glad he's been in this start. Um, yeah, no, the first time we saw him, I figured he was just going to be kind of a throwaway character mm-hmm. because he had that, you know, uh, like, oh, fast I'm talking. Silly. That, I'm like, I'm like a uh, boomy. Yeah, yeah, like King Boomy. Yeah, like that was. I was like, hey, he's cool. Then I was like, oh, he's still around. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. That... All right. So all right. So let's go.